uh, should Indian Film Festival be a competitive festival? Uh, I would certainly like it to be a competitive festival. It certainly uh, adds a certain edge to the festival. But on the other hand, the argument is that since some of the best films don't uh, compete in Indian cinema, uh, Indian Film Festival, it is not worth the while. But unless you make the festival one of the leading festivals in the world, uh, that cannot happen. And that's what I hope would happen from now onwards, that the Indian Film Festival should become one of the leading festivals in the world. Uh, what stops it from becoming the... Uh, lack of vision, lack of desire to grow beyond the confines uh, governed by the government. Uh, in this festival, what are you looking forward to? A lot of exciting films, a lot of exciting filmmakers with whom one can interact and uh, a general festive spirit that is part of the film festival. Uh, you go keeping yourself free for the festival. Will you be seeing all the films? As much as you can, because uh, I suppose there would be about 90 to 100 films being shown, maybe more. Uh, so one will see some a lot of exciting cinema. Any category which is going to be of special interest to you? Uh, a lot of the retrospectives are very very exciting, but I'm sure there will be quite a few exciting films in this festival. And uh, what about the relevance of the panorama section? Uh, what do you feel is the relevance? To present the best of country's cinema is a major relevance. I mean that since a lot of people from international film festivals and uh, international filmmakers come to India, they would like to see some of the best of Indian cinema uh, at one go. And therefore the Indian panorama is a very significant part of the, the Indian film festival. And um, this uh, also happens to be uh, the celebration of the 100 years of cinema. Now, how are you going to participate in that? Well, there is a major uh, show that is going to take, live show that is going to take place, celebrating the 100 years of cinema. And it is going to be a very high-tech, uh, spectacular show. So I'm basically looking after the technical aspects of this show. So that it goes smoothly. Last, uh, this is something not exactly related to the festival. We're talking about NFDC, I wanted to ask you one question. There is a perception that NFDC is uh, becoming grossly commercial, and um, a lot of people are saying that it might not be doing the role it is doing. Now, what do you have to say about that? Well, I think to expect any organization to remain static over a period of time is. Uh, not possible. On the other hand, it was continuously been, uh, being accused of uh, not being viable. When it turns viable, it uh, is being continuously accused of being commercial. So it is a catch-22 situation in which the NFDC finds itself and it has to grow. It has to, to uh, somewhere strike the balance between a viable organization and also being a, a promoting organization. And it's a tough balance to strike and I'm sure they are doing their best to do it. Thank you.